Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to extract the unique values of my listed brand here, not using the unique function that is available in Office 365, and also not using the remove duplicates. So uh, we're going to use a normal formula for this that is available on many Excel versions, and that formula is the combination of index, match, and count if. So we're going to start with the index. And the index require, of course, an array. So this is the array, the brand here, list of brand. Comma, it requires a row number. So the row number will be supplied by the match. So I'm going to write the match. And the lookup value for the match is 0 because uh, we will create an array of 1s and zeros in our count formula. And I wanted to look uh, for 0 to return that row position, that uh, specific row position, the first zero that it sees on the count if. So uh, that's it. I'm going to write the count if. And then the range will be an expanding range, which will start at the top of your working cell here. Then uh, press uh, colon for that to create this range. Then just lock the first part here. I'm going to lock the, the array for the index. So that's it. Uh, this is the expanding range. So whenever you copy and paste it, it will be adjusted, this uh, particular range here. And that is a way of checking if uh, the brand here is already listed as unique within your cells here. And then comma, the criteria will be all of this. We're going to check it if this is uh, on the list or not. And then just lock it. And that's it. Let me complete the match. We want it to have an exact match. Then close it. And then close the index. And then control shift enter. That's it. Now uh, we're going to copy and paste it. Until the end of our data here. Paste it here. And that's it. That's the unique value. We want to remove the, the NA. Just use keep NA and comma. Leave it blank. Control shift enter and then paste it, that's it. Now the problem on this formula is that when you remove something from your source, it will return a zero. So the workaround for that is to add some if is blank here. I'm gonna open it before the count if. So we're gonna test if this is blank, which uh, array or range, this brand here, if, this, if there is a blank cell here, then close it, comma, return a value of 1 if it's true because we wanted to avoid 0 because the match is looking for 0. So we just use 1. Otherwise, execute the count if here and then just finish the if argument here by closing it here on your false value and then control shift enter and then copy and paste it. It's not working because you didn't lock the if is blank and then control shift enter copy and paste it and that's it now uh, if you wanted to check it just for checking just copy and paste it here and then um, go to data and then remove duplicates and then okay okay that's it let me just uh, format this properly so you can see that's the same list, unique list, in the same sequence that this formula returns to you. So that's the same. The difference is that this is with formula. Now, if you don't want to use an array formula with curly brackets on it and uh, using Control shift enter at the end, uh, we also have another option, which is the lookup formula. So I'm going to write lookup here. And then the lookup value will be 1, because in this case, we're going to look for either 1 or div. And I wanted to return the value of 1. So in here, uh, the 1 or div array will be returned by the count if. But the count if with a division on it. So I'm going to make it as 1 divided by the count if. Because the count if itself can return zeros and 1s. And then when you divide 1 into 0, that will be div. So uh, that's it. I'm going to write the count if here. And I'm working here with the lookup array for the lookup. So this is the count if the range will be again the expanding range. 
I'm gonna make it expanding again and then lock the first part here it's technically the same as the index and match here uh, the syntax for the count if on that index and match and then the criteria will be the brand I'm gonna close it here let me go back to this uh, cell here and then lock it here and then we're gonna check this count if, if this is equal to zero and then properly close it and close it with a parenthesis and then comma complete the lookup we want to we wanted to have a result vector of a, a brand which is technically replacing the index array and close it lock this part and then just press enter and then copy and then paste it here and that's it now this, it has the same problem you when you clear some content on your source it will return zero in here so to, re to remove that just test this formula with an if statement if uh, this formula here is equal to zero if it's equal to zero then just leave it blank otherwise copy the whole formula here and then paste it for the false value close the if and enter it and copy and paste it and it's now being removed and don't need to have if any on that and that's it uh, as you can see uh, the lookup uh, formula here returns a uh, a unique values that is not uh, the same in the same sequence like the index index and match the reason for that is that the lookup value here that is looking for one returns the last row position it uh, begins its search at the bottom here so you will notice that the first one is volvo photon and hyundai which is uh, listed as as it is like this while the index and match started its search from the top row here going down that's why it's komatsu and then caterpillar and so on that's the difference and i think that's it i'm finished here i'm done if you're liking my videos you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time and thanks